CustomTactos.com here, and the knife I'm reviewing today is the Aaron Frederick SMK5 Recurve, uh, one of several knives in uh, Aaron Frederick's repertoire of custom designs. Um, he, Aaron Frederick is a is a former U.S. Navy VBSS officer who's uh, who's who's now a knife maker. Um, makes some pretty cool designs out there. Uh, this one is uh, one of you know several, like I said. Uh, it's it's a bit more unique in the in the look where it's got a fairly chunky handle, but then it's got sort of a leaner recurve blade on it. Um, his knives, I do find, tend to have fairly substantial handles. Um, so uh, this is the second knife I've owned of his. I've handled a few more as well. Um, there's varying levels of finishes. Um, this one has a bit of drilling done to the back of it, as you can see. Um, uh, overall length is eight and three eighths of an inch, and the blade is uh, three and five eighths, so just over three and a half inches. Um, it's it's a fairly substantial knife in terms of size, like when you feel it. So um, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it small because the handle is quite quite wide. So it does it does have quite a bit of presence in your pocket when you when you slide it in there. Um, titanium matching titanium bronze titanium uh, pocket clip uh, frame lock locking side as well as titanium liner and a separate bolster on top of that liner and then the multicolored uh, G10 here goes from a sort of a green to a black and then an, almost an orange and coppery color sort of to match this this titanium color here uh, some screw holes here to lighten the handle I believe um, pocket clip is sort of a custom job. I, it's not the most attractive pocket clip I've seen, but uh, um, unsurprisingly, a lot of custom knives um, from makers uh, from sort of the late '90s, 2000s, and onwards. Uh, this this type of pocket clip, where it was just sort of a curved piece of titanium that that they just bent in their shop. To, into a clip. It was it was very common. Nowadays, everybody's into the CNC machined uh, pocket clips, or, or or they're just using off-the-shelf pocket clips that anybody like Benchmade would even use, and just screwing that in there. I while I like um, I like the idea of having a handmade pocket clip. I actually don't really like the look of these. I prefer the um, I prefer the I prefer that they would just screw a Benchmade pocket clip onto here because I think it would look a little bit more attractive. Um, you can see the lock cut out there. It's a pretty short locking bar on this one. I don't know if you noticed earlier, but it, it really, like, the lock really sticks in there. Like, like you can really see, you see that just, the, the lock's very, very sticky. Um, in some ways that's really good because it means that, you know, the lock's not going to fail on you because it's just stuck right in there. Um, in some ways it's kind of annoying because it's hard to open. Um, like, especially if you flick it open really hard. It's, it's really, really hard to get back in there. Um, I, I prefer that over a slippery lock, of course. Um, the current SMK5 from Aaron Frederick uses S35VN. Um, I believe this is a slightly older model that uses S35V. Um, you can see a little bit of oxidation inside the jimping there. Uh, I might have to clean that up eventually here. Um, Nice, nicely made knife. I mean, there's uh, his knives. Um, I would say maybe in today's today's sort of day and age, his knives might have a bit of a dated feel. This is an older knife from him, but um, you know, I mean, even his newer knives, uh, some of them are kind of cool. Uh, I'd like to like to. I, I don't know how active he is anymore in, in in knife making. I haven't followed him. I haven't seen his any any really really new stuff from him lately um, his knife, I think the SMK5 ran about 400 bucks from him so he's not uh, he's not particularly expensive um, compared to most uh, custom makers now I mean his stuff is is less than a lot of the mid tech stuff we see like uh, like a Quiback or something like that so relatively inexpensive that's my phone ringing in the background um, uh, weight on this guy is, is a pretty hefty 4.5 ounces so I mean, with all the titanium in there, yeah, it's 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 not going to be it's not going to be super light. 4.5 is still perfectly acceptable to me, at least. I don't think there's any 
it's not going to be particularly heavy, but um, I mean, it's not like a three and a half ounce or anything like that. It's got the hidden hidden pivot screw there, but you can access it from the back side. Um, it gives it a nicer sort of cleaner dress look with just the small screws here, here, here. Um, lots of screws in the back there to uh, hold this knife together. You can skip it all over there. It's also got one more hidden one here for the that actually might not be a screw. That might just be the um, might just be a, a pin holding the holding the backstop in there. So, but um, just a single thumb stud design. Can't have another one. We don't won't have much room there. It's a nice grippy thumb stud. I quite like it. It's got like lots of lots of hatching on it. But uh, otherwise, uh, not a whole lot to say else besides that. Aaron Frederick SMK5 recurve.